Hello and welcome to this video in which I'm going to show you how I 3D printed some parts of the intake system of my fast car build. It's a 69 Scimitar GTE with a 24 valve Alfa Romeo engine and my current mission is to try and get as much 3D printed content into the car as possible. So I'm Gav Farmer and it's time to 3D print my ride. Okay starting off uh, this is obviously the uh, air filter and in order to get the air filter into the right position where I will ultimately be able to build a cold air enclosure around it I needed a little uh, shaped adaption piece so I decided to 3D print this it's also a test of a new material that I am involved with called U-Diamond uh, Nano Diamond Modified PLA from Carbodian I'll put a link in the description so this was 3D printed this way up uh, without the filter on obviously in a Flashforge Creator Pro uh, this is a kind of first draft, so it's pretty thin, two layers, uh, two perimeters, about 25% infill, took about six hours to print, and it weighs about 110 grams. This has been on the car. Um, I've measured the temperature up to 70 degrees centigrade, and still uh, was nice and solid, but uh, it is not supporting the weight of the filter, so uh, the filter actually has a, another point that it rests on. So um, we'll see how it goes uh, as we get along with that. Uh, designed it in on shape. I thought it was a snazzy-ish looking part. The ribs are to give it some extra stiffness, but it's uh, something you can also easily add in uh, 3D printing because um, I designed it in on shape. You've got a few perimeters um, which, you, which you can extrude. And then this shape is, uh, um, if I turn it this way, swept along a path like this and then swept along another path like that so uh, by adjusting the center or point of those two arcs and the length I can pretty much now make uh, any length uh, or any shape kind of curve that I want to. Uh, a few other things so uh, to those not familiar with the Alfa Romeo engine one of the charismatic V6s of our time uh, and uh, known as the Busso engine designed by Giuseppe Busso one of the features of the engine is that uh, it is a V6 it has individual chrome inlet runners per cylinder which come up into this uh, central plenum. Now in the Alpha applications, unfortunately for this engine, they're all front wheel drive. So this intake plenum sits across the car sideways, goes to an electronic throttle controller um, and um, air filter. Obviously in the Scimitar, it's a rear wheel drive conversion because rear wheel drive is best. And so uh, the intake plenum's like this. The throttle was hard up against the bulkhead. I needed to replace the bulkhead anyway because it was electronic throttle and i um, not a big fan of that. So I basically scoped through eBay and uh, Google image search looking at throttle bodies. I uh, eventually came up with this. Seemed like a good idea at the time. So it is a throttle. Womp womp. And uh, as you can see, it's in a 90 degree casting. So that saved me some space at the back of the engine compartment. Um, that was great, but it's brought with it some problems. It's for a V8, so it's uh, oversized. It's 80 millimeter bore. This would have been 65 originally. So uh, it's made a little bit aggressive, as we say, with the opening. It also turned out to be a traction control throttle body. So it was sprung to open, cable actuated to close to stop people uh, falling into ditches. So I had to uh, reconfigure it all. And uh, in amongst that, brought some additional problems so I had to modify where the cable goes there's some special laser cut bits I put this spring on because amongst all this I lost the original spring and uh, that was the thing I was actually trying to get to was um, I had to make so this spring by itself wasn't really enough I needed a torsion spring in there and I'd lost the original torsion spring so I 3d printed a block which is a kind of mandrel with a little groove so that um, if I can remember how this worked, I've I know I've bent the end since then. <laughs> but um, so basically, the way this works is you put the wire in there, and you can wind round. And and because of making it with 3D print, I could make this any size I wanted according to what the uh, spring should come out looking like at the end. Um, obviously, it springs back. There's a, a table on the internet to calculate how big this should be, depending on how big you want this uh, spring to be. Uh, this is a, a scrap one. In fact, in the end, I went with a smaller wire diameter and that's what's on the part. Um, another problem it gave me, the 
throttle setting is right at the back of the engine and you can't get at it so I 3D printed a special little tool um, which just goes on here and it's got a hole up the middle for a screwdriver which actually turns the adjustment and this operates the lock nut and uh, one more thing uh, still with the uh, nano diamond material there's a step here as it steps down to go into the throttle so I have made um, a nice angled ring there to step it down so this again is the nano diamond material the heat deflection temperature of the material normally is 107 degrees centigrade but if you anneal it in an oven it goes to 125 that's what I've done so that's going to pop in there and uh, it's not under any load but um, obviously it does need to hold its shape so that in my view is quite a challenging application for the material because it's the intake system but when you shut the engine off the temperature in the whole engine compartment goes up including anything that's bolted to the engine so we'll see how we get on with that um, now one other thing uh, I've been struggling to keep the idle speed down and I thought it was because of the oversized throttle and uh, the throttle was always also binding a bit that, that's one of the reasons I've taken this all apart again but I actually found that um, uh, the adapter pieces so there's a laser cut piece on here um, to step it up from the original bolt pattern for the Alpha throttle to the bolt pattern for this uh, BMW throttle and one of these countersunk screws was actually protruding it been leaking air so I've ground it down but also I decided uh, instead of using these paper gaskets I would have a go at 3D printing uh, Ninja Flex TPU material from uh, 3D Filiprint to print a gasket uh, I think it's going to work okay. The thing that's problematic is that uh, I printed this on uh, untreated PEI sheet and the adhesion is monster. And of course, because it's a flexible material, um, I've stretched it a little bit trying to get it off and slightly separated um, the perimeters from the, the central part. So I'm printing another one which I've put some, uh, some of this kind of adhesion promoting material on, which I'm hoping is going to have uh, bizarrely slightly less adhesion than this had on the bare PEI. A PEI sheet, if you're, if you're looking for good adhesion, it's really brilliant, but uh, maybe sometimes a little bit too good. Okay, uh, I think now we'll go and have a look at the parts back on the car. Okay, so here we are, uh, put it all back together. Plenum, throttle right at the back, coming back round, and uh, here is the uh, printed, 3D printed intake mount. Um, that situation with the air leak has been solved, the idle had gone away, so uh, I've just brought it back up a bit. I need to get the engine properly warmed up to set it up, but those gaskets um, have solved that problem. I fixed that adhesion problem with this uh, uh, dimmer fix, it's called. I picked it up at the uh, NEC and uh, that worked really well. So uh, it provided enough adhesion, but you could peel the part off. So I'm really pleased with that and I'll be using that on uh, any of those um, TPU parts in future. So uh, I'll just go and uh, give it a little twist for noise. So if you're interested in that uh, Carbodian U-Diamond Nano-Diamond material, you can get it from 3D Filiprint in the UK, uh, some other distributors around the world. If you go on to www.carbodian.com, you can uh, find your nearest distributor. And if you like this, you should like the Facebook group 3D Print My Ride. Cheers.